I went to India. Um, I landed in Bangalore, which is in the south in the state of Karnataka. I traveled three and a half hours south to Mysore, which is um, a place where there was an, a yoga teacher I wanted to study with, but also there's um, a university there and there was an Ayurvedic doctor. So I met with her and every single day for four months we worked together. Anywhere from an hour to four hours, it really depended on what I needed. The protocol was so wildly different. We never, we never talked about lupus specifically. She just addressed what my body was showing her. So it, I, I wasn't defined by um, a panel, a blood panel, and I wasn't defined by this name of, you know, that I, they had given me for what was going on. Like it was just, I was Rachel, and this is what was going on today, and this is what we were gonna work on. Um, it was incredible, it was life-changing. So she gave me a whole protocol for when I came home, and when I got home and they tested my bloods, it was the first time they were normal since I was diagnosed. So I knew I was onto something. <laughs> but I also knew like I had taken myself out of my life. Um, I had no stress. <laughs> so I had to figure out how to sort of replicate the magic that we had created in New York while having a job and paying bills and all of that day-to-day -day stuff that I had been able to just kind of ignore for a few months. So when I came back from India, I had like a set of tools that I had worked with with my doctor on, which really involved um, a lot of herbs, um, a very specific diet. I, I avoid dairy. Um, one of my most recent doctors told me he's actually never seen a lupus patient who doesn't have a dairy allergy. For me also, nightshades. So I'm very allergic to eggplant, um, but I also avoid tomatoes and peppers and to a lesser degree, potatoes. And then my Ayurvedic doctor wanted me to cook everything. Um, my GI tract was just in shambles after all of the drugs that I had been on, and it's still pretty sensitive. So I don't eat a lot of raw foods. And I think my experience with this whole process that's still ongoing um, really was for me, um, plant material, herbs, really good food, getting in touch with myself. It was yoga and meditation, and um, more recently, boxing. All of that, I responded to so much better than the, the protocol, the drug protocol that I was on. The Ayurveda, that whole philosophy of looking at what you've got in front of you and then sort of like gently unraveling to what might be the base cause with all of the herbs and all of the plants and oils and all of that really really made a profound effect on me.